In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a list from scratch using your mailing boss autoresponder and how to connect it to an opt-in page. Okay, so let's first uh, access one of the opt-in pages we have uh, as a template in our platform, which is a very simple opt-in page. Right here, you've got your name and uh, an email. So people would have to type in their email, I mean, their name and email, and then hit, I want to know more, and it's going to redirect them to another page. Okay, so let's go ahead and access this page. Uh, to do that, uh, we're going to go to Builders, drag and drop Site Builder, My Sites. This page I already had set up, so we're going to go to where it says Weight Loss, and we're going to hit Edit. And I'm going to show you something right quick for you to see um, how it's working right now. So each account in the Builder All platform comes connected to one uh, email list. So if I right click on the box and go to configure, uh, it's going to connect real quick to Mailing Boss and it's going to show up or show me all the lists that I have connected to my account. In this case, I only have one list, which is called Email Marketing. And it's probably looking just like that in your account as well, because you at least have to have one list. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So when we come back here again, you'll see that that list that we, we're going to create is going to show up uh, as an option here as well. Okay, so let's go to the dashboard again and access Mailing Boss by going to email marketing and automation okay so the first thing you're gonna see on the dashboard is basically the campaign uh, campaigns we don't have anything going on right now uh, it's so it's set to zero we have one list which is the list that I showed you right now uh, which is the email marketing list uh, we have eight segments now we're not going to discuss this right now it's a little bit advanced and you don't have to worry about it now we're going to touch on this uh, in later videos uh, we have 49 subscribers which we were just running some tasks for this account okay uh, right below here's where you would quickly access each thing that you want to do with the mailing boss in this case to create a new list you would come here regular campaign here automated sequence if you want to access your subscribers list you would come here a regular campaign and your email sequences okay so as we would like to do let's go ahead and create a new subscribers list so I'm gonna go and click that and the first thing it's gonna ask for is the name of your list in this case let's go ahead and keep with the theme of weight loss we're gonna type in weight loss the display name you don't have to type in anything if you want just to keep uh, concise just go ahead and type the same thing in there in the description you want to be brief but also uh, explain to people what this is for or what list this is about so in this case is um, get tips to lose weight something like that or the name of your company I just uh, typed anything here just to be brief the next option you have is the opt-in option so do you want it double opt-in or a single opt-in the double opt-in people would have to go to their email account, click an email, confirm that they want to receive their e uh, your emails, and then now uh, every time you send out an email, they'll they they'll recognize the single opt-in. They'll be redirected straight to the page that you assign it to be, and then they'll start receiving emails. But you know it's it's not as good quality as if people go and and uh, double opt-in to be on your mailing list. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to keep double opt-in. And the opt-out, we want to keep single opt-out. So to make things easier for people to unsubscribe from your list, uh, you want to go to save and next. And the next phase right here is uh, you, you'll see that setting up a list is very simple. You just follow step by step and you don't have to wonder what you need to set up next. Okay, so the next step is actually defining how many fields of information you want to collect. So right here in this opt-in box, we're collecting name and email. And right here, it's only checked for email. If I want to collect the, the, the first name, I... I check this box and last name I check this box okay and if you want to collect more information for instance a phone number you just go in here click the plus and let's type in let's say phone uh, under tag you want to type in basically the same thing as the label but all caps so it's tagged and easy to find and connect to uh, your uh, autoresponder service okay required yes or no uh, I'm just gonna leave no visible for sure so people can see and be able to uh, type in the information 
Help text is just uh, it, just saying, please type in your phone number. Uh, we want to leave that blank, and we don't necessarily need that. And the default value, the same thing. Now, the sort order, uh, we're going to uh, set this one up in in just a little bit. For, for now, just leave it as zero. We're going to come back and uh, rearrange the order where the fields are going to show up. Okay. Now, if you want to add more fields, uh, here's where you would go. You just uh, click one of the text fields or the drop down field, and you can configure that it's pretty simple easy to follow okay let's go ahead and save and go next and so now the the list is already created uh, here is for you to set up your emails uh, the emails that's going to be sent out so you've got the first one is the subscribe confirmation email uh, to change anything here if you would like to change you just uh, select or click anywhere and start typing as you can see and it's very easy to to type if you feel like it's it's looking good and you don't want to change anything all you have to do is just uh, come down here save changes and go next okay but you can also customize this field one thing that i would recommend is not to change the list name right here this is a, a snippet of code that you don't want to change why it's because it's collecting uh, things that people have typed in on that uh, opt-in box so for instance list name it's going to show up the name that you um, you name the list the sub subscribe URL the company name it's gonna pull up the information that you have typed in and configured for this list so people can easily recognize and you don't have to do anything with it so it's easy okay and let's say if you want to uh, make it a little bit better looking uh, email you can uh, just go in here and here you have a few blocks you can just drag and drop very easy and you can change the image you can link it uh, if you want to change this text right here obviously let's type in this is an awesome form you see how easy it is to configure you can just select and right on the left side you can just make it bold italicize it and you have all these different options you can link to your URL and you can even embed some uh, snippet of code okay so let's go ahead and save changes and it's going to take me to the next email so there's quite a few emails about seven I believe uh, that you need to go to and uh, through them and make sure that that's looking the way you want it to look like so for instance right here is pending subscribe we're gonna go ahead and save changes the next one is going to be unsubscribe conf uh, confirmation email uh, you just read it through if you like the way it says um, just go ahead and save uh, welcome email the same thing just go ahead and save set everything up and in case you want to go back you can always come back to the uh, pages right here and it's going to take you to your emails okay so you can just let's say the pending subscribe you can come to the pencil and then you can start typing and changing things up right here okay so now your list is created let's go back to the dashboard uh, home page let's go and click the icon right there all right so we want to access our new list go to subscribers list right here or you can come in here either way it's going to take you to the same screen okay so now you've got two lists one is the email marketing and the other one is weight loss okay but let me go ahead and show you right quick I'm gonna just refresh this screen so you can see that once we connect to mailing boss it's gonna pull up the the brand new list that we created so if I right click configure it's connecting to mailing boss and now we have two lists we have the email marketing one which is the standard one and the one that we just created which is the weight loss okay so there you have it uh, let's say right click configure and weight loss you'll see that it's pulling up all the fields that we just set up uh, we have the phone email first and last name but as you notice there's one thing wrong here you know it is the order of the fields this, this is definitely not the order that I would recommend you to uh, have your opt-in box uh, because you know who would start with giving out the phone number first you want to maybe the, the the name then the last name email and then the last thing is the phone number okay so let's go back to the mailing boss and right here uh, for this list we're gonna click the pencil and here is where you have additional things that you need to fill out first off you already filled out the name the display you gave a little description so we want to go to advance okay it's already double opt in single opt in no welcome etc etc right here is where you select the name of you know what people would be um, when people receive an email what name they would 
uh, see on the or coming from like what email uh, who is sending me this email okay so the company name I would say right here and here is the email you would like people uh, to see that it's coming from from your email and if they reply to that email where do you want it to uh, them to send the email to okay the subject line you don't have to worry about this because uh, once you set up the automation or the emails to go out that's gonna take over this field right here okay the next is notifications so notifications is basically uh, once people subscribe to your list do you want to be notified that people subscribe to your list if so just go ahead and click yes and then type in the email address you want it to be to receive the notification so if you don't want to receive notifications you just click no and it's all good to go now if you're setting up a new campaign it's kind of cool to be notified oh somebody opted in you know it's it's nice to receive that notification uh, unsubscribe the same thing if people unsubscribe from your list if you want to be notified yes no and then specify what email you want to receive that notification to okay uh, subscribers action we're not going to touch on this right now uh, and it's not important for now uh, the very very next thing is actually the company details which is very important okay so here is where you give people more information about your company so first off you have gotta put in uh, your company's name or your name if if you're using your name as a brand then the industry uh, the address uh, the phone number and everything else so make sure make sure that you type in all the information right here before you set everything up okay so you are uh, compliant so you're not gonna have any problems with you know not being compliant or not having all that information filled out and when people receive the email they know it's coming from a legit company okay and this code right here you don't have to mess with anything once you configure all these fields right uh, right here it's gonna be pulling uh, these codes are basically to represent the fields or the information that are on this field okay so we're gonna go ahead and save alright so that is uh, configured now the next thing is let's set up the order of the fields okay so uh, a way to do that you can just real quick uh, access right here quick links and then we're gonna go to where it says list custom fields okay let's right click there and right now you have phone as set to zero everything is actually set to zero so the first thing I want to set to zero is the first name so you find where it says first name which is this one right here and it's zero the next one is last name so we want to set that to one so it's gonna show up right after first name and then the third one is email which is number two so zero one two and then the last one but not least is the phone number and we want to set that to three once uh, everything is set up the way I, I want it to, to be set up I'm gonna save that and now as you can see the fields already uh, got reordered at uh, first name last name email and then phone number okay so that's good to go let's go ahead and go back to this um, page that we uh, we're using we're gonna reload the page and we're gonna reconnect to that email list that we just created so right click configure million boss is connecting we're gonna pick mail, uh, weight loss as you can see first first name last name email phone you see that the name the the, the letter N is uh, it's a lower case so if you want to change that you can always come in here and then change what you want it to say so name and then name Go ahead and save and it's good to go so now once you you set it all up let's go ahead and refresh again so you can see the the change actually is happening live and right click configure mailing boss is connecting we're going to select the weight loss list boom the n is now capital okay so once everything is good to go let's pull this to uh, to the bottom a little bit more drag right here drag right here Okay, center on the page, raise this up just a tab. And so, okay, once everything is good to go, you don't want to forget to save this. Once it's saved, it's ready, it's going live, and it's easy 
for you to access in your mailing boss and you'll start seeing all the subscribers coming in so you can always go back to the subscribers list and you'll see subscribers start showing up right here so that's how you create a, a, a an email list and we're going to touch on other features in later videos